now the first application that we discussed was was to predict the extent of the reaction right to predict the extent of the reaction based on its magnitude so so we first deal with that to predict the extent of the reaction to predict the extent of the reaction okay now we have been writing this again and again let me write it once again so it is this giving me giving me this the most general equation and kc is equal to is equal to c to the power c into d to the power small d divided by a to the power a into b to the power b and what happens what happens if this value is higher we mean to say that there is more of pr products and less of the reactant so the so that means the 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 reaction is more towards the forward direction right more in the forward direction similarly if it is very very less then there is more towards the reverse direction and less towards the forward okay but but there is no kind of cut off when you say that it is appreciable when when you say that it is not appreciable so still we we try to objectify it by putting a cut off value on the on the value of kc cut offs on the value of kc but there is no such watertight compartment okay so i know that that magnitude of kc is directly proportional to the concentration of reactants of products of products products and is inversely proportional to the and is inversely proportional to the concentration of reactants concentration of reactants okay understand product of concentration of products and here also it is product obviously raised to the power but but it is that right now if so we have put the cut off and say that so three cases number 1 if kc is greater than 10 to the power 3 okay so we say that products are in quite large quantities so the so the and the reaction and the reaction has reached almost a completion in the forward direction okay fine it won't be completed it can never be completed reactions are never completed okay so second if kc is less than 10 to the power minus 3 then reactants to 
predominate and the reaction has reached it's not reached it, it, it is more favorable is more favorable in the reverse direction right So it's still, this is so large and this is so, so less, right? That there is hardly any reactant, there is hardly any product in comparison with the reactant in this reaction, right? And when it is anywhere in between, right? So Kc is greater than 10 to the power minus 3 and less than 10 to the power 3, then both reactants and products are available in in comparable quantities okay comparable quantities right fine Fine. So, so this this ballpark figures they should be remembered, and many a reaction can be can be understood on the basis of this, provided you are given the value of the equilibrium constant. Correct, the value of the equilibrium constant. Okay. Fine.